There's no way that this could be justified. He wasn't in the wrong at all. What's in the light? What's in the dark going to come to the light? We do not feel that we got transparency. We only saw a snippet of the video. We were able to see Mr. Brown sitting in his vehicle as he was ambushed and as the sheriff's office made their way to his residence. Appearing to be surprised, it appears that he was possibly on the phone. At all times, his hands were visible. At all times, you could see that he was not a threat. The video that we saw was still redacted. It wasn't the full, uh, I think it's approximately two hours. So they showed them more than what we was shown before, but it was still not the full video coverage. So the priority is still for the family to get closure and transparency, and they have not been able to get that. The district attorney works very closely with the sheriff's department. His office is located in the same building as the sheriff's office. He's been working with them for years prosecuting cases. Um, we feel that it's a, a lot of um, close ties with both of their relationships and it's not appropriate for him to be on this case. We continue to express our condolences to the Brown family and let our deputies know that we love and support them as this was a day that no one wanted. I would like to take this time to thank the people of this county for showing the rest of the nation how to genuinely protest peacefully. My father did not deserve to die at all. He did not deserve to get killed. In any way, shape, or form, he did not pose any threat at all. Come court, there's no way that this could be justified. There's no way possible.